going up to the planes now to test the UAV. This is a big flight. Uh, otherwise, uh, how big Joe dies? My name is Tom Keel and I'm the, uh, the head of the hardware team and I'm also the weight and balance engineer for the, for the plane. I'm uh, Mithun Patel, um, I fly the plane and I was also involved in building the Big Lift 2, okay. so the original plane and then all the modifications and all yep. that. Uh, Luke Norton and I'm the uh, target acquisition team leader, hardware side of the um, video link and the telecoms section. Uh, I'm Lee Conjure, head of the airborne systems. Um, I'm Marcus Story. I'm doing the tracking antenna for the project. My name is Manuel Gaia. I'm you know, responsible for the power subsystem. My name is uh, Peter Casamanos, yep. and my role in the team is the payload delivery subsystem. Um, I was I was pretty excited. I mean, it was a good opportunity. Good bunch of mates that I was working with. So, um, do you want to join the team? I'm trying to get a head start on a competition, which is going to take place in September. first couple of meetings we were just trying to throw a lot of ideas around, um, make sure we fully understood the problem. When you say big dreams, that's exactly what they were. I mean, we had no idea what we were getting into. Yeah, very high hopes. We really sort of started looking at the old system. The whole concept of, of building an autonomous plane is pretty huge. Yeah. I mean, none of us really knew what we were doing. But like when we first, like first, first week of semester, you know, everyone was into it straight away like off the bat like it was really good at the start it started off we had all these great ideas and you know notions for what the future was going to be for the plane and as time went on it just seemed, seems like you know we've had to cut so many of those dreams short yes we all thought yeah they're hard to meet but we thought we'd be a lot further ahead than we are now we sort of thought wow this might actually come together we might actually the biggest fear was money, that we wouldn't actually have the money to achieve this. Most of us dismiss the noise of money. But to others, they can be of great value. The differences in engine models can notify early problems for these aeronautical engineers. They listen carefully to the rates. All right, well, we had to get rid of the other engine. Okay. Because of the EMI, it was the only way we could get rid of the other engine. It yep. was a two-cylinder and, um, sorry, two-stroke, two-cylinder. And what that meant is it was causing the electromagnetic interference. So we got rid of it. <coughs> the reason we originally went to that engine in the first place was uh, for reliability. EMI, the nature of EMI itself is so random that, you know, you can, you can never um, recreate what's causing it it's yeah I guess it's just that it's annoying yeah. you think you try something it doesn't work you try something else after a while you've tried so many things you just lose hope originally we thought power was one of the big causes of the EMI okay and I guess the power in the engine was what was causing it like the, the voltage sparks on the on the um, like the spark engine we were worried that I was going to be a major cause of EMI I'm actually transmitting a power which is not legal in this country. <laughs> yeah, problems probably an understatement. Disasters, definitely. Um, Such a hard thing to understand because it's so much um, higher than our level of understanding. It, it took us a lot of time and a lot of learning because we hadn't ever encountered anything like that at the time. We were only sort of just learning about EMC or electromagnetic compatibility in a uh, unit at the time. So all of it was new to us. Um, in terms of how to avoid it and solve it was new, so it took us quite a while to sort of figure out ways around it. It would have been a reoccurring problem. Um, however, we, we changed the type of engine that we were using because the, the engine was the source of the EMI. So that's why we went to the two-stroke engine, how the two-stroke engine was causing the EMI. Now, we were able to since find another engine that will um, has dual glow plugs. 
some interest in UAVs. I think once word of the competition got out, a lot of the surrounding media outlets wanted to do a few stories here and there. Uh, a lot of a lot of messages like Tom saw you on TV last night. Tom saw you in the newspaper. Oh, but the totally wild one was quite strange. I was putting on a bolt for the engine, and it was a homemade bolt sort of thing. Like we had to modify a bolt to do it and the nut was going off the thread and the thread wasn't moving and I was just thinking some kids are going to be watching me on TV and saying that guy's an idiot. <laughs> that day, yeah, 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 I was flying. It was, it was okay. quite strange. We had been, there was, I think, not, not that night, the night before, had been a really late night. Come back here, work till about three in the morning, getting the throttle ready to run on the engine. Did that, next day we went out, had a few flies, it was good. We decided, okay, we're gonna leave it for that weekend. Then on that day we went, that was the first time I was flying that aircraft completely solo by myself. We had the three flats, I think everything was going well. And it all looked fine. It was um, controlling itself, held wings level quite nicely. So we thought, no, oh, we'll bring it around for another pass. Uh, third flight, the elevator came off. We still, we landed, fixed that up. Fourth flight went up, everything was going well. Then to a nosedive when we flicked over. What had been happening, but was it had a tendency to sort of dive and then level out. So we left it for a moment to see if it would level out. It didn't. So um, and then yeah, the crash. We were put into autonomous, dipped down, wing snapped when I pulled out. He tried to pull out of the dive, but as he did that, the uh, wing snapped off. You just saw this thing fall straight into the.